And uh, thank you for indulging us on our lovely little scene. We call that a quiet trace of emotion. And featured in this quiet trace of emotion is Rudy Land and one Dwight K. Schrute. I heard the middle, middle initial, or I heard the middle name is Poop, but you didn't hear it from me. Tonight, another glorious installment of In the World's Smallest Theaters, <laughs> where they play the good movies, evidently. I, Tanya, The Russian Revolution, Death The Death of Stalin, this. Quiet Place. All the good movies. A Quiet Place is what we saw. Thank you, Dudley Do-Right. Starring... John Krasinski, Emily yeah, his Blunt. Wife, Emily Blunt. His wife? Yep. Who I thought Pam was his wife, but there must have been some Facebook fake news. Yeah, fake news. We're, we're relevant, kids. Fake news. This movie, <laughs> this movie was good. It would have been a lot better if I saw it by myself. Yeah, um... You'd be surprised how many times, like, a room uh, full of 30... 25, 30 people moans yeah. and groans and shifts and fucking... <gasps> yeah, I mean, I really wish we went to see the later showing. I think they would have put it in a bigger theater. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't crazy, like... It's just too claustrophobic. We were too nah. close to the other people. And plus, with a movie like this, where it's virtually yeah. silent the entire time, yeah, you really that... got to really catch, get into the ambiance yeah. of it, let's I mean, say. our theater was pretty good, you know, we, we didn't have phones going off, we didn't have people lighting their phones up, but, you know, before we kind of get into our thoughts on the movie, I, I, I definitely would tell people that, you Wait until the second week? No, I mean, I, I'm assuming most people have seen the trailers, and obviously the title is A Quiet Place. But this is really kind of like a silent movie. I mean, it, yeah. there is sound in it. There's but, some brief moments of dialogue. Yeah, very brief moments of There's dialogue. There's one or two that are above a whisper. Yeah, if you have a problem with movies with not a lot of dialogue, this is probably really going to test your patience. And I don't... I think this movie's going to open really huge and then completely fall off because I don't think the word of mouth is going to be that good. Yeah. I think people are going to be like, wow, this made me very, like, maybe people, bored there or was anxiety a, There was ridden. people in our theater who they had to comment because there was, I don't know, maybe they hadn't heard anybody talk in so long. They yeah, just needed they, to hear a there voice. Was, yeah, there was know. a guy behind us who talked once, and, and I was like, are you fucking kidding me, dude? Just shut your mouth. But he kept going sporadically. It wasn't crazy. I, did, I didn't notice him besides that one time. But. Just, you know, sort of low undertone was oh what's oh I yeah he had he he there was definitely quite a few people who like they were really generally scared like there but uh i um, never jumped even during the jumpy scares which I, there weren't a lot of no, I, if there the, were some but they were no this, they were there this is not anywhere close to something this like is sort of like where, a classic a classical sort of horror film where like yeah, it's about suspense this something happens then you slowly build this, the suspense, yeah. the tension, yeah. mm -hmm. to the next big event. Big event happens. Yeah. Then, you know, everything winds down. Yeah, so I would definitely... But actually, nothing wound down in this movie, as a matter yeah. of fact. We'll um, get into that later. Yeah, I would definitely tell people this isn't like it where there's firecracker jump scares where you're like, oh my god, I'm gonna go fucking deaf. Yeah. Loud noises happen. It's just like it's, it's something fall. You're expecting something to happen. Something falls. Something happens, and yeah. you know there's and a little sting. Yeah, the the sound is pretty bleated out through the movie. So when something does break, Although, it's very loud. This movie is really reliant on its score to build up that sort of um, that sort of feeling of dread. It's sporadically throughout. There's a score, and there there's moments where it's effective. It works yeah. well, but without it, can you imagine this movie without it? Well, I mean, yeah, I mean a lot. There are a lot of scenes where there's no music at all. And it's just completely silent. There's Which a I lot liked. of scenes. I liked it. And, you know, I don't have a problem with movies that have silence in them. There's a lot of, you know, I'm... Uh, well, sometimes that could make it more... That could make it more, you know, salacious, my man, because yeah. you're just sort of soaking it in. There's no music to rest on, you know? Yeah, I mean, if you're uh, if you're a big fan of, like, Nicholas Winding Refn, who did, like, Drive and, and Only God Forgives and Valhalla Rising, he makes movies that don't have, like, any 
There's there's a lot of silent protagonists in that. In those okay, movies. I thought I was about to say silent, uh, scoreless. No, no, not not that. But I mean, uh, movies that have not a lot of dialogue that yeah. are that are silent, and even you know you look at you learn about John the character Caramel through his actions. And stuff. Yeah, and you look at kind of like Steve McQueen, where he you know he just talked with his face. This whole movie is just about body language, facial expressions. They do sub- sign language. There is sign language, and they yes. do subtitle it. Yeah. You could have probably figured out what they're saying, but it would have been pretty tough for well, some of the things. Yeah. Um, and so what I would definitely say, you know, for me, just personally, um, I, I think a lot of care was put into the movie. Just all the little um, aspects of their life, the daily routines, there was some, setting up the world. Yeah. There's good world building. Yes. And I do really love the concept um which is a very simplistic concept, almost a child uh, uh, concept of, like, you know, uh, monsters are under the bed. If yes. you're under the covers, they can't get you. If you don't monsters, make... monsters can only get you by hearing you, and if right. you don't make any sound, yeah. they can't get you. Yeah, it's a very almost childlike concept, very simple. And I really like those concepts. I think they can make a really good horror film. Well, it makes everything very easy to understand. You don't have yes. to spend a half hour... You know, telling us the rules. You know that. Well, this, this movie one, does they, show, they the show you the rules, but yeah. it's just written on a whiteboard. You see it for about 10, 15 seconds, and then we move on. Yeah, and they do explain some things later on uh, with sound and and just certain things that you can do, which we will get into in spoilers. Yeah. But um, I, I, the acting is very good. I think. Yeah. Um, there is one of the kids that really did kind of annoy me at points, but which one? Um, well, the young son, he really like pissed me off at a couple points, but it, it's tough to get angry at that because these kids are very young and, and some of them are going through puberty. And not only that, they're doing a movie that's like a concept, like how, how when are they going to do another movie that's essentially a silent well, film? Well, I, I don't have a problem with their acting. It's, 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 it's some, it's more of a writing. No, in in the world, I understand why they're acting this way because they're kids, and it's got to be extremely difficult to kind of grow up and yeah, you not know, have this, anybody. Everyone in the world is dead, but your parents. Yeah, for the most part. I mean, they do. Well, they do. Um, we we, we, yeah. they do want us to ruin the film, but we're not going to do that. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely get into. Uh, so, um, how did you? Uh, how did how did you feel about? Uh, I liked it. I thought it was good. There was logically, though, there was a few points logically where it lost me, where I was openly questioning what was happening, which, you know, it's fine. The towards world, the end? I mean, not even towards the end, right at the beginning. I saw, I figured out the ending. I didn't figure out it'd be the ending, but I just sort of asked myself, why don't they do this? Why haven't they tried this? And that turned out oh. to be the, um, the solution. Yeah. It was you know, well. I mean, I don't like, know about that, dude. I mean, huh? I mean, I, I think that people. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll talk. Well, about wait, that yeah, later. just we're just we're just giving our yeah. little impressions here. I thought it was it's a nice little movie. It's a good um, a good sort of classic horror film. Everything. Yeah. It's not just blood and gore for the sake of blood and gore. There's blood and gore, but it builds to it. You're moving towards an action. You're moving towards an event. Yeah, and in the story, and they set things up. That just about will, everything was set up. Yeah, there was every, nothing yeah. out of place here. Like, no. there's not throwaway things. And I will say that you know the movie's 90 minutes. I don't think this movie could have held any longer than that. I because think, you really, it really wears thin the nobody talking thing. Yeah, and they try to sporadically you have to put in more action moments. in order to. Yeah add more to this movie you'd have to put in more action you yeah. have because any more time of them so, mouthing or mm-hmm. signing at each other you'd yeah. really you'd really lose your audience i think so i would say yeah i mean it is a good film i'm not gonna say it's not it, it is very well made in a lot of ways and there are things that are very cool and there was one image that really burned into my brain that i thought was pretty horrific but that i liked i, I can't talk about it now but okay. um I, I really did fidget a lot in this movie. I was like, oh man, you know. It felt uncomfortable. Yeah, I mean, I mean, and that's that's a sign of the movie doing good things. But also, I was like, you know what? Can we kind of get to the point a little, like, because this, yeah. I will say to people, this is a slice of life movie, but a horror movie, a slice yeah. of life horror movie. You are just, you are in the days well, of the it's lives not of only, these people. It's not only the it's horror not about of 
what they're facing each day. It's the horror of this is their lives now. It's more of a survival. Do you movie, know what I mean? You know? Like yeah, yeah. It, there's, it's too for me. It's on two things. Like they can't make a sound, or else these things are gonna get them. But then you have to sit back and think, okay, what if I'm in this situation? The world becomes like this. Do you know what I mean? I don't. I think mean, a lot of people just kill themselves. Well, I, you know, as long as I'm by myself, I don't figure it'd be too hard to be quiet. Just. It's, I think that'd be a tough life. I think you'd get yeah, it'd be of... very tough. You get very, incredibly depressed. You know what yeah. makes humans so advanced? Communication. Yeah. And socialization. Exactly. Yeah. What's um? All right. Before we get into, is there anything else you'd like to talk about before we sort of get into spoiler talk? I mean, like I said, I think the filmmaking is is very good uh, as far as like cinematography, just the way the camera moves, the setup of things, um, some of the dialogue, which there's not a lot of dialogue. It was a little, eh. but they're trying. Kind of cheesy. They're trying to 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 push things forward. Um, I get it. It's tough because you know the whole concept is don't speak. So when they, do they speak. make moments for them to specifically speak, yeah. um, which is good for the audience because it kind of gives you a bit of a breather. But um, I do think uh, the third act of this movie is kind of effy. I, I mean, yeah. I'm not. I, I was that it lost me a little towards the end. I'm not gonna lie. It was it one. It all occurred at one day. No, it was multiple days. They, okay, they, we'll get if, into that yeah. a little bit later. But yeah. we're just, I'm just trying to get it wrapped around. So, my head. Uh, you want to just do recommendations and then just kind of well, be able say, to talk freely? Yeah, I would say if you're looking for a horror movie, that's good. Yes, that's not yeah. total shit. It's good. <laughs> Every, it right. works on a technical yeah. level, on a narrative level, on a act level. Oh yeah, the acting's very good. Everything works. Yeah. It's not gonna it's not gonna blow your doors off. It's not gonna no. be like the greatest film you ever saw, but it's it's an effective, nice yeah. movie. I'd say see it second week, which if you're listening to this is probably your only option because <laughs> I don't know. Nobody seems to be into it. Or you know what you can do. Get it from Redbox or your local library. Watch it by yourself. I feel like yeah. by yourself, this will be the only, the only, a thousand times better. I feel like if I watched this at home, I might have grabbed my tablet at certain points. I'm not going to lie. And so I, I think it was some, good. There were some I, very tedious moments. Not yeah. very tedious, but sort of very for me, for slow. Me, for me personally, The movie I, fell in some honey or some molasses right. or something. Yeah. For, for me personally, I almost needed to see this movie in the theater just so I could... Because I, because then I'm stuck. I, I never touch my phone. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it, it's tough for me because I think if if you have a problem with silent films or not a lot of dialogue, you're. I don't think you're gonna like the movie. We keep see. I, I keep hearing silent film. I don't want people to think like no, there's. No, it's not a Charlie it's not Chaplin. Like, one is somebody playing movie. a fucking piano in the background? That's the only <laughs> no. sound. Like, it's it's like the it's a real. Mo it's like a normal movie, but just. Not a lot of dialogue, not a lot of talking. No. You have to be quiet. Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. So, I mean, I think, you know, use your discretion from the trailers. I mean, I don't know. I mean, say, I don't I don't know. Probably spoilings on the trailer, but. Um, yeah, the trailer did, it did ruin, it ruined a scene, at least one scene yeah. that I recall. So, um, I mean, if you like horror films, I think you're, you're, you're going to go see this no matter what. And uh, it's better than. Uh, it's better than all the horror movies that have come out so far this year, which have been dog shit and trash. Mm. Um, so this is this is definitely the the first good quality um, horror film. I will say this: I don't think it's scary. Yeah, I, I didn't that. jump. There were people all around us jumping. I don't think it's I scary. At I didn't all. react once. So I mean, I think if you're a horror like huge horror buff or a horror film it's, aficionado. Think of it more like a psychological, like a horror thriller. Fucking that yeah. old ass, old ass, like an H.P. Lovecraft or fucking Robert Chambers or something yeah. sort of novel. I would, I would put it more in a kind of a thriller psychological. Well, not not psychological. Uh, more of a thriller survival movie. Yeah. Uh, more than necessarily horror. I just maybe I could be just reading. We'll, we'll think about the ending a little bit too. Yeah. Well, so, I mean, I guess if you're a fan of horror, you know, I'd say go see it because there's been nothing good out. But uh, Has John Krasinski down directed anything else? Yes. 
we bought a zoo or one of those he, indie kind movies. of indie comedy bullshit. And mm-hmm. I think he did a really good job with this. Yeah, he was. It was the, pretty good. It the, was no The Witch, in my opinion. But it was <laughs> no. Good. I mean, on a well. technical filmmaking level, yes, The Witch is better. But it, it was well made, in my opinion. So yeah, it's, wanna, it's a nice, solid movie. Um, the beginning scene, it, it is ruined by the trailer. But the scene, I could sort of tell what was going to happen, anyways. Uh, spoilers. Thank God, because I can't take it anymore. I can't fucking take talking right. about this movie without just being free. The beginning um, part, the one I'm happy they killed the boy, but I knew it was going to happen as soon as they had him. They showed him yeah. a shot where they're all lined up and they're showing them each one by one. Yeah. I mean, I was really frustrated by that scene because it's like, okay, the little kid, you just walk out of the store and the little kid's fucking there. You put the batteries to the side. You don't think. Something's gonna that happen was dumb, here. but also like the kid didn't I mean, I wait till they got back. He just does it right there yeah. on the road when everyone's gonna see and hear. Well, him. He's a young, stupid kid, and that's yeah. the thing. Is like, uh, but listen, what about this? If you've grown up in this world, you figure you're gonna well, know it a little bit. It was only day eighty nine at that point, so it's only been a few months. Okay. So he's you know he's a kid. He's stupid. You know, kids that their minds. It's been he's so long innocence. since I had a cool toy. I'm going to play with this cool toy right. since I had yeah. it right I can, I can totally get that. And um, it has real impact when it happens. And That uh, was my, that was, as soon as it happened, I was, I was excited because it, yeah. I knew there was stakes. Oh, for as sure. As soon as a young they kill child one of their dies, kids. Yeah. stakes. All right, this movie's going to have stakes. For sure, yeah. They and, did it at the beginning of... Uh, Annabelle Creation. Annabelle Creation. <laughs> I really liked it. The rest of the movie sucked. I totally disagree. I fucking love Animal Creation. I thought it was okay. That was really good. I thought it was okay. I thought it was great. really suspenseful. Um, but you weren't. We don't need to give that. But um, the um, the ending I could see coming. The ending. I don't well, know. I couldn't see coming. The, but the like I said, I just thing. guessed it. Yeah. As soon as I um. Well, you know that's going to be. You the find solution. out that their only sense is hearing. Yeah, I think why don't they go to a fucking army base? Get one of those fucking sound generator things. You ever? I saw this. Uh, yeah, but they have to get to one of those bases. How are they going to get there? Got a car. Are they going to drive there? Mm-hmm. Are going to get in a car and fucking drive with these things? How fast do we know? See, here's another thing. They can hide. They could take away plans like that because we don't really know how fast they are. You know what I mean? Well, I'll, well you see them run. They're pretty fucking. They're fast. pretty fast, but can they run 80, 90 miles an hour? Yeah, but there's they. How many of these are there? They killed so many people. Yeah. They're gonna. One's gonna catch you somewhere. They're gonna hear the engine. One's gonna f- jump right on that fucking car and spear you. Yeah. You know. I mean, it's. I Another can, thing. I, the I girl at the end, she sort of killed her dad. She saw that, that the cochlear that implant worked twice. She sees that it works twice. Her fa- Her father goes. She well, sees he's gonna sacrifice himself. Just fucking crank that shit, bitch. Well, well, first of all, why the fuck didn't he just take the axe and throw it into that barn area where all that shit was? That's what I thought, too. I was like, what why the does fuck, nobody just, like, Why don't they carry around boom boxes, press play, and then toss that shit? You know or what I mean? Or have some type of, like, flare gun thing that he could shoot that would explode The something. fucking idiot in the um, theater, there's a scene where she, the wife gets cornered that by really one. That really me. And uh, she, uses a, she uses, like, an egg timer. And the person behind us, like, she didn't put two and two together that she's like, oh, no. Cause she's yeah, the yeah, the girl behind off. me. Yeah, I was like, bitch, bitch, she's obviously trying to use it to make a distraction. Yeah, are you I was fucking like, rube, you yeah. lack wit? What do you think? She's making a fucking pie? <laughs> she's waiting for it to pop <laughs> She the accidentally oven? set the fucking uh, kitchen timer. Yeah, whoopsie. <laughs> whoopsie. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, that was funny. Yeah, I, I mean, the death of the dad, that really frustrated me. And also, his scream was very awkward. Yeah, it, it was, was sort like, of. Ah! Are you trying to sing? Like, are you uh, doing an opera? Are you trying to? I hate to shit on John Krasinski because I think he did a good job. Well, he did good, part. but anytime I see him, I think of Jim from The Office. I mean, if, if he's got the beard on, it, it's a lot better. It definitely can, helps. It hides. Yeah. It definitely hides. And that's how I felt about Thirteen Hours when she was in. Um, I didn't see it. Yeah, he, he was pretty decent in that. He, he's got he's got some chops as an actor, but I, I think he he just has to have a beard because otherwise you just see him as the guy from The Office the office but um yeah i was definitely frustrated uh what with, things um, got to you what um well the i mean listen the, the main girl she's 
she's young. She's like kind of puberty age, so she's kind of rebellious. She wants she wants to be a woman. She wants people to take her seriously, and she wants to go with her dad and be independent and and things like that. And yeah. uh, I mean, she is kind of the cause of one of the child's deaths. So there is I don't I don't not, I mean, there's got to be some form of resentment. But he's, he loves his daughter still. Yeah, but at the same time, in this world, you can't really you can't really look back at things like that. You know what I mean? It's either oh, yeah. you be quiet and you work together, or else you're dead. Well, yeah, they're working together, but I mean, I, I mean, they're greedy. Because still. it's in the back of their mind. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I like that they started the movie though. Um, they didn't have any origin. It just no. sort of dropped you right in the middle of it. No, nothing is really explained. These they just arrive. Other than they are blind and. They I don't like, know any. They don't like have the, any weaknesses. I like the, for all intents and purposes. I like the fact that they have like this kind of like sonar thing, like when they make those clicking noises the first time. Yeah, it's pretty neat. The, I, I like that. I, I dug that. It That's, made me think um, of like um, in caves, like isolated caves where there's no way out. They find like salamanders and of? shit that are completely oh, blind. blind, but like, they can. Move yeah, they around, hear. Yeah. Um, I do think the monster looked pretty good, except for the end. I didn't like the monster that much. The, the whenever they showed mantis. it, whenever they showed it extended, it looked. I, I think it, it looks look good great. for most of the entire movie, except for the very end when you see them down in the cellar and, and it's, it's brightly lit. Yeah, it, that that does not look good. Um, it looked very shitty. I would. They could have definitely got a guy in a rubber suit because it wasn't like unproportional for man. Just get him like some I, weird I, still pants. Uh, dude, I mean, I I always agree. I always think you should go practical effects. That being said, you I, could, I think it looked good. Just for like for a the lot of it. scenes where they have to like jump and do athletic acrobatic shit, do computer and do it in the dark. But like the scenes where it's brightly lit right on him, and his flesh like opens up and shit, so yeah. you can see his. Well, internal I mean, brain membrane. When it opens up and you, and its ear is kind of trying to listen to things, that didn't bother me. I thought that looked cool. Hmm, sorry. But, but towards the me. end, when the face is opening up, kind of, I was like, oh, this is shit. I don't it like kinda this. It kind of reminded me of like a um, an anime character or something. Like an anime it, villain, it, the, demon or the something. The being of it really reminded me of like a praying mantis type. I could see that. Type insect. It has, it's a very insect Another thing monster. about this movie, a lot of times I was sitting here thinking, this is like The Village meets Tremors. Meets I was getting signs else. much more signs. Than, than The Village. Yeah. Much more of signs because of the crop fields. In and the uh, isolation and you gotta be... Yeah. And the alien facts and, you know, but, um, yeah, I mean, it's decent. Like I say, technically, you know, it, it is really well made. Um, but I'll be honest, like, this movie really didn't work for me. Didn't uh, work for you? I didn't really enjoy it. I okay. mean, it's a good movie. It is good. It's well made. I just, I it's wasn't. It's kind of boring for you? Yeah, it didn't really work for me. Honestly. I mean, there was a lot of things. and I, It was definitely a lot flatter than I, th I feel like it could have been. Because other sure. than the monsters and the sort of plot of them... I hate, I hate saying this, unit. but I, I, wanted really to see more, I wanted to see more people. You only see one other person who's been living with his wife, an older man. What happened to the wife? Did he kill her and try to no, eat her or something? Or no, did the monster get her? If, no, the, one of the monsters must have got her. Because it looked like uh, John Krasinski had that same scar, like right in his on abdomen. his abdomen. Yeah. Um, there, there is one image of this movie that is like really horrific. Um, it's, image. Yeah, when they, when, and this is one of the things that I will, uh, the the kind of different set pieces that they build up of uh, her being pregnant. See, and I, going lo into, I, lo I, I love that. That was, that. Very, good. That was yeah. very good. And the image that I will say that is unbelievable is when she's down in this cellar and they're putting this gas mask on top of the baby and they're putting it into this box and sort putting the lid. Box. It was so creepy and disturbing and i i really felt myself but like, then oh, in man. the back of your mind you're like but they have to do this they yeah don't have a no choice. absolutely it totally makes sense and it's very there's a lot of everything things logical in their i disliked about this a lot of things logically i liked they didn't yeah. wear shoes that was really smart and the the kind of um the uh the corn from the silo that they put around for their feet and kind of the stuff corn uh they grind it up i forget what they yeah. call grinded up corn but they basically yeah. made sand of corn and that way so when they walk walked on. it was even yeah. less sound yeah which is which is really cool um you, you know the, the setup of the house with the lights and everything and and how he works and, and his, just, i liked that one more thing they couldn't just like set up a pit with a bunch of like 
like spikes in it around the house? Or can these things jump like fucking 60 feet? You know what I mean? Yeah, we see one on one of the roofs. Another way that they can hide, they sort of don't have to I mean, like build go like a into moat it too kind much. Of around yeah, the house yeah, yeah. Spikes, something yeah. like that. Or maybe even build a trap just to try and catch one. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you dig deep enough, you're going to find holes through it for sure. Um, but it didn't. It didn't really detract too much from no. what's what's going on. And listen, there's there's vision with this movie. There's a very i an he idea an, of what yeah, they're doing. He had an idea. Very clear. The idea. people who made it had an idea of what they wanted to do, and they did it. Yeah, absolutely. And and I'll give a credit for that because. Just there's so many horror films now that come out. They're just doing a they're fucking reliant, ghost movie. They're just reliant on the tropes that have yeah, worked it's before shit. them. Especially the stuff that I've seen so far this year. It's just been shit. What have you seen this year? Winchester. Winchester. I saw. Um, well, actually, I did like Insidious: The Last Key. Um, it's got I problems. Didn't see it. I enjoyed it significantly better than I think the last two Insidious. Um, well, the second and the third one were kind of shitty. Yeah, the second and the third one I wasn't a big fan of. I think James Wan is very good at jump scares, filming him. Really he does well. a lot of th other things really well, like um, chairs sliding across the room, like with really uh, like a nah. like um, just the noise of a chair like I rubbing really against was, the hardwood I floor. Really, the first in city, the first uh, conjuring, conjuring had a really nice one shot. Oh yeah, the, I, I remember somebody conjuring. asked me. I was watching with somebody like, "Why are you doing this? What's the point?" Because we got to learn the layout of the house, man. That's where yeah. the story's taking Absolutely. place. You've got to show the whole geography of the house because that's where the whole movie takes place. Um, um and and this movie does that. This movie that the was kind of you know? the one house, but they sort of live on a sprawling farm compound, like they're in like thing. North Carolina or something. And we only really learn the house. Other than that. They well, could they just walk here or there. Go so far. I mean, because it's only a ninety-minute movie. Yeah, I mean, wow. they they build up that there's a town that they go to for some supplies, um, and they walk across the train tracks and stuff, and they've built, you know, this sand and stuff. Um, you don't know any of their names. You don't know what they did for a living. Uh, what I um, thought was funny, we were watching the credits. They all have names, and it's, oh, they do. Except for the one guy that. in the woods, and it's it's some their oh. last name's Abbott. Oh. But I was thinking to myself, like, if you're not saying the name, if it's not written Probably down for anywhere. Purposes, just for script purposes, I think. Eh, I guess yeah. so. Um, I would have liked it if it would have been just, like, boy, father, mother. For them to say that? The no, movie? just in the credits. No, oh, just okay. in the credits. Because yeah, yeah, if you're not yeah. going to no, say absolutely. their name or write it down anywhere, then what's the point of naming them in that in the credits? I don't know. First son, second son. <laughs> I'm just overthinking <laughs> yeah. it. I'm no, I mean, it. I, I'm I agree. Being a dick. That's a very nitpicky thing. But, yeah. I mean, that's not make or break for you. I mean, it's not like a knocking down. No, it's just something that. I noticed. I, I would agree with I'm that. I'm observant yeah. for retarded things. Yeah. Um, you know, like I said, I really did like the. Um, the scene with her pregnancy and there was a lot of suspense with that with the baby because you're like oh man this fucking baby it's gonna make noise and everything he was kind of john krasinski was kind of not really hustling when he had the baby at first well he's like the baby to starts crying yeah. yeah i know but at when that, the baby starts crying you gotta fucking move yeah, man get that move. shit get that little it, fucker to the box it's it's reminiscent of kind of like the walking dead of like man having a child in this world such a bad idea <laughs> yeah but you know i mean she like i said at the All prophylactics have expired. <laughs> well, I mean, I think due to the death of their child, there was probably a, you know, a sense of wanting to have another child, and, and the fact that I the, thought that as well. But the, at the same the child time, child is a boy as well. In we this world that you guys live in, I know. I, I totally agree. I totally agree, man. Like when why are you uh, fucking having another when kid? he saves her, she does a retarded jump scare. Like he's in oh, the room for that... like a full two or three minutes. Sits down, consoles himself because all right, she's dead. Then yes. she slaps a window. Yeah. You just you're trying to stay silent, bitch. I guarantee you that was a studio thing of an inserted loud noise there. Were the there studio what studio was that. attached to this? I don't, I don't know. remember. I don't know. I mean, I, like I say, for the most part, they don't do that. Um, yeah, it's, it's not it's, cheap. It's, it's not a subdued. cheap movie. It's really not cheap. There, Except for the creature. I, I didn't think the CG was bad on it, honestly. I didn't like ends. it in extended any extended view on it. I didn't yeah. I didn't think I thought it looked bad. I thought they did a good job for the most part of, of hiding it for a lot of the points, but um yeah that, that could definitely upset 
I mean, it's not terrible, but it just just stuck out to me. It always, you know, it's something else I noticed where it's like, God damn it, just get a guy in a fucking latex suit or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Why the fuck? How did John Krasinski not notice that the fucking place was flooded? You could hear the water happening. He has a well, fucking no, hearing I mean, aid in it's, his ear. It's, it's, or wait, he didn't have a hearing away. aid. He's walking away. No, he didn't have a hearing he aid. He did not. No, the, only the girl Only has the a daughter has implant. a cochlear implant. And that's the weapon. Yeah. Because evidently when she turns it way up, the resonance of it taking in the sound of the creature Because he's been prototyping it. He's been try he's been consistently trying to make one for her, for his daughter, to one that works. Because hers doesn't work anymore. And this that specific one set to a specific frequency she, was the frequency that he fucks says them up. that he took the amplifiers out of one of the radios. Yeah. And he to make it, it stronger. To make he keeps keep and she's like, It never so, works, it never works. Did her cochlear implant not work at all before? Um, because there was a couple moments in the movie where it went completely silent well, when it was her perspective, and I was a little she, confused. Cochlear implants happen when um, babies kind of when they notice that they, that they can't hear, and and older people can get cochlear implants as well. Um, they have to get surgery because because you see you yeah, see yeah. the implants in the back of her head, and then the hearing aid goes in. So she's had this since she was young before this has ever happened because. They, we know that this has been going on for like 400 and at 89 days. days she's about it opens at 89 days and then she it has jumps the implant. it's after an, a traumatic event it jumps to day so, 472 obviously at, at a certain point <laughs> it stopped working and he's been trying to fix it ever since okay yeah well, at least, well, that's one of the reasons why they probably survived, too, because they could all speak yeah. sign language, most and likely. And I think that's really cool, the fact that they use sign language. There was a lot of nice she little has details that. and touches like that in this movie mm -hmm. that sort of leaded, lent credence to the world that they were in. Yeah. All the things in the world, I, I like the little added things. Um, it's it's nice. Um, it, like I said, it, it's it's good world building. Exactly. For the most part. Yeah. Um, but uh, like like I say, it, it it didn't really work for me. Um, I was really hyped for this movie, and I didn't watch trailers. I was kind of pumped for it. Yeah, I think a lot of people are very very hyped for this movie, and I do think that word of mouth isn't going to be the best on it. I think. Because people are so hyped, or because it's not a great film. I don't think it's I don't think it's a bad film. I think it is very well made. I just I think that people are like going to be like, this is boring. Yeah. Like nobody's talking. You know. There wasn't enough to, um, there wasn't enough sort of tension within to their relationships yeah. or tension in action to sort of keep it keep it afloat for you, you, you would say? Yeah, there, there's a couple set pieces that I like. I do like the nail scene and how they set that up. Did somebody put the nail there? Because how else does a nail just show up in the, in the stairs suddenly? The nail was... Was, Did the daughter do it to be a bitch? No, I mean, it, it was full. But then how would she nail it in? Well, I mean, well, I mean listen, you, you, to make stairs, you, you do have nails and stairs. But it is weird that it's in the middle of the step. Yeah. And uh, How did it get... It gets pulled up from her, her dress. Her dress gets caught on one of the nails and it pulls it up. It was a laundry back. bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The okay, bag, now, yes, I, now I remember yes, what. Now I remember bag. it. Okay. Forgive me. No, it's just it was so it was folded down, and then yeah, as she hit it, it down, she yeah. pulled it up. Yeah, I mean we don't know if this is even their house or they just you know sort of someone else's ransacking, place. not ransacking, but sort of camping there yeah. in a way. Yeah, setting up shop. Setting up shop. <laughs> um, Clark W. Griswold. So um, yeah, I mean I did know that the the movie the ending sound was going to be the shotgun cocking. Which is kind of enjoyable, but at the same time, you're like, eh, really? Finally, something's going to happen. Something's going to happen. And you're not going to see it. <laughs> yeah. Which, I it would have been it. fucking lame if, if they kept going after that. Well, what, a, what is the conclusion? She shoots or kills two of them. They just keep running down. And then two or and three of them get shooting. to them all. Well, they just wait for them to come down. I would have liked the cochlear it. Implant. They you, know what I, you know what I would have liked to have heard? Uh, like, five or six run down one at a time. Bang. Bang. Bang, bang, and then five or six more come down. Nothing but the roars. Right. I thought that would have been pretty cool. Yeah, they, they're never gonna do that depressing ending where the whole family dies. Well, what else is? What else? What do you think happened? 
I mean, obviously they made it so you're not. It's you're never supposed to actually know what happened. But no. logically speaking, Logi- what do you think happens? Logically, yeah, they they die. The um, movie ends. Here's how the movie yeah. ends for those who didn't listen to my spoiler warning, and <laughs> still want the movie ruined. Yeah. The um. After some hijinks with a baby, there's a couple that descend on their farm camp, and she has to kill one with a shotgun after it's incapacitated by the cochlear implant. (coughs) And a shotgun, for those who don't know, is probably, it's pretty, pretty loud. Yeah, it's very loud. So, next, we focus on the security cameras, and we see... Four, five, six, seven of them running towards the house. On the board, he says that there's three, but and that he thinks there's three in the area. That he's seen the area, but yeah. she she killed one, and we see at least three or four. On the monitors down in the basement. Yeah, running towards the house. Which I don't exactly know how they keep the electricity going. I mean, do they have a generator somewhere? Is Generators make on? a lot of noise. Well, yeah, they exactly. live right by a river. Maybe they set up some kind of a... Through. I don't know, hydroelectric thing? I don't know. What is the thing that they used? To Solar panels? Yeah, something. You don't need to get bogged yeah, down by those details. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not unimportant. They have power. I liked how they used the lights as a sort of warning system, but yeah, I'd like to lights. see them that use it cool. more. Yeah, I mean, that was the thing, is that I uh, love the concept and all those things. I just wish they did more with the concepts. Yeah. Um, I wish there was a bit more of the set pieces. Um because it is kind of a slower film for the most part, which, which there's nothing wrong with that, but it, um, you know, I don't know how many more times. Like how did the one at the end hear him, John Krasinski? Uh, he dropped the, uh, the No, the before dropping the axe, he stands up, walks out from underneath the thing, from underneath the canopy. He picked it. There's one on the roof above him, and then it just immediately strikes at him. He didn't make a noise. Well, I mean, they they show that if the the creature is within the area of the person and they open up their ear, that they can hear on okay. a very very specific level. Yeah. So they probably he probably probably heard its breath at that point. Some so shit close, like that. Yeah. Know. All right, I could buy that. Yeah. So he makes a uh, futile stab with his axe at the creature as the creature yeah. fells him in one strike. Scene. He's doing the sign language and telling his daughter that he really loves her. And, that was fine, but then yeah. his scream, it was kind of Yeah, the scream kind really of a joke. did not work. It was a very awkward scream. You know. Which is not his fault. I mean, that's his voice. What are you going to do? Yeah. <laughs> but it sounded like he was trying to do fucking Pagliacci or something. Like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> he has, I haven't yelled in a while, guys. Sorry. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I think the acting's good, you know. I think Emily Blunt was very good in that. She's if, a very good actress. If you want to see, you know, a solid, a nice little horror movie, this yeah. is the one for you that's out currently and probably until October. Yeah. Well, you want to do ratings? Yeah, I would say it's a... Uh, because you have to, I mean, you have to admit, it is, yeah. it's, it's, a, but, it's a well-made film. Yeah. You can't say it's not, the, even if it didn't. You know, work for it. The thing about it is, I'm going to overrate it, and I know that I'm all going to overrate it because yeah, it's I'm finally a, just a solid, just a working horror movie. Right. I would give, I would say it's a horror movie that works. There's, it's kind of slow, kind of dull in places. There's some, um, doesn't really build. It's, you don't know enough about the family for their fate to really mean mu- that much, I feel like. Oh, I would God. give this movie just because I like the world that it, it's in. I like the some of the small details in it. Um, and if I would have watched it at home by myself, I'll give it a seven. Yeah, it's just it works. It's not the greatest movie. Yeah, but it's a good. It's a horror movie that works. Yeah, I, I haven't mean, seen uh, it in a while. Yeah, I think it definitely probably deserves a seven i just i don't really think i can i mean i don't really it didn't work it. for I, you I, I don't everybody really, gets that you know I, not everybody and not everybody's gonna get every movie not yeah. every movie's gonna get everybody so it's, it's tough i'm in a position where i have to give it a good rating because it is a well-made film but it didn't work you don't for have me. to give it a good rating 
There's plenty of people movies that people say are great that I fucking hate. I'll give a fucking two. Well, yeah, there's I mean, a right? difference between hate and something that didn't work for you. I mean, that's, mm, that's really yeah. Like, I mean, like The Shape of Water. Like, I mean, like it's not. I can't say it's a bad film on any real level. There's some cringy moments, but I, I could never give that movie like a five. Uh, you know what I mean? It's just not a five. I can't look at the cinematography. Why the five? Know, yeah, but I mean, I I hate number ratings anyway. But I mean, uh, I, I give it a six. Uh, okay. It probably deserves a that's seven. That's what I, that's what I was teetering but, on a six or a seven, but because. I think you he know. enjoyed it more than I did. Um, I was fidgeting a bit. So. Yeah. Um, but you know, I don't not a love movie, not but definitely not a hate movie. It's you know, it's a good, yeah. nice little movie. I, I don't think I'll ever watch it again. Okay. Um, so, but uh, I, definitely, if if you if you love horror films, you're definitely gonna see this, and, and you should definitely check it out. Absolutely, you know because. You know, the shit that's out, especially the shit's coming out next week, the horror film. Ugh. What comes out? What horror Truth film? Truth or Dare comes out next week. God, which, the face, the smirky yeah, face. Which, I kind of want to see it just for oh, the smirky I, I wanna face. I want to see it so bad, and, and we might love it. Because <laughs> it's so be. shit. <laughs> or it could be another occasion of boring, and then just shit. every yeah. 15 minutes, maybe I chuckle. Right. At incompetence. <laughs> That's what my life has come to, folks. You can change it today. Subscribe and send two dollars to Happy Dude, seven forty two Evergreen Terrace, Springfield. Do it today. Ah! 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 Ah!